Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, I'm excited. We got a delivery. Let's have a look. And of course, it is a boat boat. Boat man. So, I went for um, the act. What was what do you call it? Actor. So I went for the carbon, the 10 amp um, battery with the external switch and the light. I got the cigarette light charger thing just so I got it. Um, the soft bag and also the metal propellers and weed guards. So, oh, not another box. You know I struggle. So, I thought what I'd do is I'm sure people are going to be asking, is it worth upgrading to the metal propellers? So what I'm going to do, won't be today to be honest, it'll be tomorrow, I expect. Or it might be Thursday. But to you, it'll be in the same video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm not going to take it to the lake as such because obviously I don't want to start disturbing everyone by ragging it around. Um, but what I'm going to do is I could take it down to a, like a little pond that we got down the road, a little lake. It's no fish in it, it's just like a swan lake. And I'm going to show you what it's like with the regular propellers and then show you what it's like with the metal propellers. So here's the bag. There was two bags. You had this bag and a nylon bag. But I messaged them and they said that this bag was the better one. So I thought I'd take their word on that. There she is. Right, let me just get her out. Right. Thank you for your purchase of the Actor Bait Boat by Boatman. We hope the product lives up to its expectations. Comes with a uh, 12 months non transferable warranty, excluding the battery. Uh, we fully understand that customers may want to put their own unique designs and attachments on their boat. Please make sure you fully read and understand the terms and conditions. The remote should only be turned on bef oh, yeah, sorry. The remote should be turned on before the bait boat. Charging remote should not be done through phone USB. This could be too powerful. The limit is five amp, uh, five volt, one amp. The battery is secured by a cable tie for transportation. This will need removing as the battery must be removed when charging. Oh, uh, okay. The bait boat battery and remote will require charging on receipt. So obviously you need to charge it once we get it. Only charge until the light goes green on the plug the battery and the light on the remote do not leave overnight to charge <laughs> customers may find their bait boat unresponsive or not function correctly out of the box don't worry the pairing of the remote to the boat will be required this can be done by following the steps below make sure both remote and boat are turned off turn on the remote press and hold the light button for two to three seconds until it beeps and flashes um, once the beep and a flash and release the light and immediate turn on the boat wait for a few seconds and it will stop flashing and bleeping you need to be at least one meter away All right there we go okay look at that so the normal bait boat is 199 pounds for the 5 amp I wanted the 10 amp then it automatically goes up to uh, 220 then I wanted it with the external switch because obviously I didn't want to keep taking this off every two minutes to do it, turn it on and off. I was so excited. And then, so that was 240 and then I wanted it in carbon so that was an extra 20 quid. Wow, look at that bloody hell. Look at that. Holy moly. 
That is bloody awesome, that, isn't it? That bit I won't really use too much. So, they're the weed guards that I ordered. They're the metal propellers. Nice. Silvery. On the pictures online, they look like a bit like brass. And obviously, this is for charging it. If you see my Fox video, you'll know that I've obviously got two of these ports on my power bank. So, on the normal one, the on and off switch is here, I believe it is. So, you obviously click. It's like a red rocker switch. So, it's, you know, like a light switch that clicks on and off. But obviously, I opted out for that. I wanted it on the outside. So, I don't want to take all this stuff off, man. It's bloody awesome. So, oh, yeah. So this is a push switch, obviously you push it and then it sort of stays in and you push it again and it clicks out. I just don't want to have to keep, like I say, my friend's got his one and you've got to take this off pull the, to rock the switch. I just want to sort of get on and fish, do you know what I mean? But not just that, I didn't want to, does it just sit on there, does it? Yeah, so it just sits on there. So I thought it locked in place, but it, it doesn't clearly. You just literally push it on. And like I say, turn it on like that. Turn it off, but obviously it's charging. Got your handle, your main hopper, obviously your back hopper. Well, these are the um, propellers that you get with it. Obviously, I don't know, let's get a bit like that, plastic ones. I'll tell you what I really do want to do is actually want to sort of coat it in some sort of like ceramic because you know with some water it's got all this dirty sludge well not sludge but it's got these dirty water marks so it does seem like the type of stuff you can so say no tearing bloody hell what am I doing these are camera angles sorry guys no tearing, so obviously you take that off. They know that you've opened up the inside. Oh, yes. This is the Mark IV I. So the I stands for improved. So again, switch on the outside. And I forgot about this. I've got a light here, which I think looks... I think it's green. And then I think the other side's orange. So I was assuming so you know what's left and what's right. Um, and then... The bat lights stay on all the time to improve nighttime visibility. I think it is. So that is cracking though, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, I was gonna go black, but then I thought I'd treat myself and pay the extra pound and go carbon. But that does look smart, doesn't it? I'm impressed. I was, in all honesty, I was saving up for uh, the new direction two bait boat, but that's like 550 quid time i bought a bag for it that's um well decent backpack thing that's like 80 90 quid so that's really near 650 and then the gps is another 200 pound via the app but i don't want to do everything via the app sometimes you know what i mean but with this um hold on a minute where's the remote control ah right here it is. I just suddenly thought, where the, where's the remote gone? <laughs> so, there's a um, battery um, charger. Or, you know what I mean, the mains charger. That's a USB for charging the handheld. There you go, there's a controller. And a... Um, cloth to dry it off and clean it with so like I say I've got another video going up hopefully before this of the ceramic coating that I've put for trims on my car still got a bit left as you can see so I might put because this is sort of textured I might put it on there just to stop all the guns from bloody sticking to it so right you've got your drying cloth battery charger 
handheld. That's right, we're going to look at that, won't we? Uh, that's what I was saying, sorry, was I might take that land yard off. I don't really want it on there. I've got two. Take that off. So, for what I'm aware of, right, from using my friends anyway, that's the main hopper, back hopper, lights on and off, that's to turn it on, that's like a turbo, or a speed, I think. And that left and right. To be honest, I don't know. We'll have a look at the manual in a minute. But when you press four for, I think it's like five seconds, let go, it will constantly steer forward for you. But like I say, when I go down to the lake in a couple of days, um, I'll show you that. Like I say, we'll, we'll leave the plastic ones on there for a minute. Online, it says you need a 5.5 um, socket to obviously un undo those. So I keep forgetting that the camera's over here, not in the middle of the screen, so I do apologise. Oh, what's this? I just dropped out. Authentication. What I did see, I come across a video as well. I can't remember where it was now. Might have been YouTube. Um, changing the subject, that's the normal looking one. It looks nice, I just... I didn't want that. I'd rather pay the extra, I think it works out like 40 quid or whatever it is, more... Uh, 60 quid more for obviously this the improvement and the switch on the outside and bigger battery so that's what I want to do but obviously it's up to you guys what you want to do but here we go so you've got obviously your joystick you've got your high and low speed your rear hopper uh, middle hopper yeah oh root correction and then we'll see if one front lights and pairing and then you've got your power button so obviously, root correction, from what I can guess, obviously if it's going forward and it's sort of pulling to the left, you click, click it and it adjusts itself. As you can see up there, look, I don't know if I can see that. There you go, that where it says power button, that's on the original, what it looks like. So obviously all these other bits are for the um, GPS and that. GPS don't really, I'm not gonna lie, didn't really bother me too much. So I wasn't really, I'll just go over the manual quickly for you guys, just in case anyone's looking for something in particular. They've lost theirs. Okay, so obviously, if there's anything you want to read, you obviously have to pause it. Obviously, anything I'm not worried about, I suppose you've just got to make sure when you're charging the controller, do it properly. But I'll suggest wiping this, obviously, before uh, you put it away. The last thing you want to do is, like I say, ruin it. So I'm quite a bit particular like that. So obviously these are the hoppers. So you've got your middle, the end one. I must admit, I'm not a big lover of the end one. But um, So I might use it for boilies or something, but I wouldn't want to put nothing wet in there. Oh, you know what I mean, sticky, because I don't think it would drop properly. Got a little imperfection there, ever so slight. You can just see like a little, you can hear it, a little dot. That's fine. This is what happens, isn't it? So, it says in there, I've got a cut. Uh, that zip tie just there, around the ring, take it out and charge it. But the thing I like with the bait boat man, or boat man, that... All these wires, everything, the new lid, this bit. Uh, just imagine the handles, I've not seen it, but handles, propellers, even the this top bit, everything. Oh, and these. You get them all online, all spares, which is handy. So, yeah, exciting stuff. So, I'm going to put it in the in the bag, obviously, just to show you guys. And then what I'll do is in a couple of days, I'll pop it down to the lake and we'll have a little play around and we'll, we'll have a look. Yeah, like I say, the nylon bag, it's quite sort of stiff, rigid. This one, obviously, you see it sort of all crunches up. I say, when's this zip going to stop opening? Oh wow, 
Bloody hell. Okay, so in the bag you've also got a bit at the end. It must be for like the controllers and stuff. We'll have a look. Oh, it might not be. I don't know. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is. Let me just show you. Because I was actually going to just rest it in the middle here. But you can just see it, it comes out and protects the propellers. And obviously you've got your pocket there. So, oh, excuse me, I've got hiccups. There we go. What I would probably actually do is, when I put the controller away, I'll wrap it around in the cleaning cloth. Yeah, I'm glad I went for this bag because I was going to go for, like I say, for the stiff one. Look at that. All I say is just remember that the control's in the back there. So obviously you don't want to stand it up or anything like that. Like I say, we've put the weed guards and all that on. Another day I want to show you it with, um, with the normal ones first, just to see if it's worth it. It says it makes it um, quite quicker, supposedly online, on their website. But like I say, um, we'll have a look and we'll get to that in a, uh, in a minute. So I've literally just cut the cable tie off to pull out the battery, pull that lever, the eye, pull that out. As you see, I've had to connect this because it wasn't connected. So you just push it back in and push it down. Just be careful on these edges because I literally just took a little, I don't know if you can see it, just oh, took a chunk out of my finger. do like that on and off switch there you go it's off it on the light's flashing as well at the front look right where is the what do i do with the oh, controllers in the bag is it right what did it say i've got to do turn hold on was it the remote first or the boat first don't remember already Uh, right, number one, yeah, that's it, that, that, that. Oh, the 10 volt apparently takes 10 hours to charge, supposedly. Uh, it's 500 meters. There you go, yeah. Uh, the five is for the five amp and the 10 is for the 10 amp. Uh, yeah, 10 amp, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, 10 hours. There you go, distance 500 meters. It says there, um, hopper size, but going to the back of the pages quickly. I'm sure it said, come on, I'll turn over. Okay, the activate boat with two hoppers, medium hopper holds 1k, so that holds one kilogram. Oh, a kilogram. One kilo, sorry. One kilo, and then that one holds about half a kilo. But it is nice, I do like it a lot. Seems like good quality. Sorry, that's what I was saying earlier, I think I forgot. I remember seeing a video on YouTube or something of this, well, it might have been the whole case and I can't remember. It wasn't obviously the, um, the carbon one, but it was the black one, where it come out of the Chinese factory and they're literally just throwing it all over the place. 
like slam it on the floor as much as they can and everything but and it didn't even crack but there we go right green orange so obviously it tells me what side it's on i believe right that's what i was doing when i right you should turn hold on the remote should be turned on before the boat okay so let's turn this on Right, is it connected? Oh, there we go. I think I heard some propellers going. Very quiet, isn't it? Very quiet. Right, then hold it for five seconds. This should bleep. Right, hear that bleep. I'm not touching anything now. It's obviously driving by itself. And obviously you can still turn it which side you want. As soon as you let go again, it goes forward. But to stop it, you have to pull back. There you go, and it's bleeped. So obviously now I can go forward or back, whatever old way I want to. But again, hold it for a few seconds. Five, I think it is. There we go. Like I say, I'm not touching it. Left, right. There we go. So when you're going forward, they're flashing, aren't they? Look, that's quite cool. Right, so why do I push the light switch on here? What does that do? Right, that turns that on. Look, press the light button again, goes off. But I sh if I'm right in saying these always stay on, these ones. So yeah, um, right, that one there, see that? So yeah, just, hold on. So you close it off and then you just pull that back round. Right, let's show you. The underneath of it, I actually can. I'll tell you what I'll do. Like I say, it's top left. There we go. So, got your lights on, for example. Right, when you drop it, they will flash at the back. If I can get that in. See that flashing so that you know that it's been dropped. And to re-engage it, obviously you literally just... Oh, go on, just I'll push forward and cut my fingers off. It's done. So there we go. Put the lights on. Which one was it? There we go. Obviously, I'll turn the light back off. There we go. So, obviously, I don't want to leave it on too long. So, obviously, without charging it, I don't want to be a naughty boy and break the rules. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, let me just turn it off. You've got to hold it for a second or so. So, right, I'm going to charge it all up bag is amazing i'm so glad i've got the the soft bag as well um so obviously that just comes out obviously just be careful with it that just pulls up and out all i would say is obviously just be careful of the these wires right, which bit do i push right Put you down for a minute. Okay, so you need to push this little bit here. Push that down. That slides off. 
There's the charging port. So obviously that's just your ring to pull it up and down. Little fin on each side where the battery slides in. And this is just like a retainer clip, like a metal one. But I've got a feeling they put like a bit of a heat shrink on it just to stop it from scratching the battery, obviously. But these... Just, don't know. Oh, they clip on the outside if I look at it. Do they? Yeah. I must admit, I don't know how much I like about that because I'm a bit worried that if it catches it, it might pop it off. But yeah, so like I said, we'll see how it's like with plastics in the water and then we'll um, put the metal ones on. Like I said, that'll be in a day or so time. I'm going to charge these batteries up, obviously, because they're new. Also, I forgot to mention, guys, you do get a spare pair of uh, propellers and something to do with some hopper. Hold on, let me have a look. Rear hopper piece. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. But anyway, there you go. Two spare propellers. Hi guys, new day. Um, obviously, I went out fishing yesterday and uh, I used a bait boat, fantastic, love it. Uh, however, I did notice a slight little problem with it. And now if I hold the right on the analog, it will um, spin perfectly on the spot. If I turn left, it takes a big radius round. Um, I have messaged um, Boatman UK regarding this, still waiting to hear back. Um, but as you guys know from the beginning of the video, I said I've got some metal uh, metal propellers. So I was going to put those on just to see if it actually makes any difference at all. Uh, it might help, might just be a bit of a dodgy uh, propeller possibly, I don't know. Um, but I thought I'll go down to the uh, pond down the road that I was talking about and uh, we'll have a little play. With the metal propellers, I've got it a little bit wrong. It doesn't make it quite quicker. Me being an idiot, misread it. Apparently it said it makes it quite a lot quieter. Um, obviously it's a bit hard to sort of show you the sound difference, especially obviously via YouTube itself. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put the metal ones on. We pop down to the um, uh, the lake down the road here or the pond, whatever you want to call it. And we'll see if it still has the same problem. And uh, we'll go from there. Right then guys, you're going to need a 5.5mm socket. What you're going to want to do is put your finger in between the blades, obviously, because it's going to... Well, if you don't, it's just obviously going to turn the whole thing. So what you need to do is pop your finger in there. Just break it loose. They don't lose the bloody nut because it'd be a nightmare to get a new one or it's nylon as you can see so obviously it don't come loose all right there we go so as you can see it's notched you might just about see that so right obviously that is doesn't have a left or a right on there. No, it don't. Anyway, right. We guards that we put on in a minute. I'll we'll just drop one. Right, where is the packet? 
what would have been handy with the propellers actually if they gave you a, a, you know nuts for them as well right so if you can see that ah so we're going to put that one obviously on the right hand side so you're going to want to get it so that that notch meets up with obviously the notch in the boat itself let's put all this stuff down before i bloody drop everything right So there we go, that one's on. Metal one, plastic one. All right, that's. Put the nut back on, give it a bit of a tighten up, put your finger in there again. I'm going to do it till it's obviously snug like that. So obviously I don't want it coming undone. Pop the weed guard on. So now these plastic clips should click into here, I'm guessing. does state that if you're using the metal propellers is a very wise idea to use the guards right so it's a very snug fit so you really like as you can saw it looks quite stiff but it does it does reach obviously that's the inner side that's clicked in there so that's him. That looks a lot nicer than that, doesn't it? Right. Same thing, other side. Right. Put your finger in. It does hurt a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Because you've got, obviously, that the propeller. <coughs> there we go. The propeller, obviously, digging into your last finger. Again, don't lose it. Come on. There we go. Yeah, a bit of a... You want to sort of... When you're getting out... Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got the nut in my hand, so I'm trying to not drop that. So when you get out, you want sort of three fingers and sort of... I can't twist my arm round enough to show you. I grip it like sort of that. Right, and obviously, le for left. Right, that's all the way in there. Again, nut. Nah. Put your finger in. Let's tighten her up. Right, that's quite nice and snug now. Right. Again, the other cover. Probably would have been so much easier to do it in the the YouTube famous shed. But you know what I'm like. I don't like to make things too easy for myself. Right, yeah, as you can see, it's quite quite a s stiff fit, which is obviously quite good. Because you don't want it obviously coming off when you're driving it. So we'll see. It's clicked in. Again, obviously there clicked in same on the other ones so that is the propeller upgrade with the weed guards 
So let's go down to the lake and try it. Right, there we go. Let's see if it, um, I mean, that's right in terms of the spot. When I do left, goes in a bigger spink. Bigger radius still, even with. Sounds a bit quieter, yeah. It's got a slight drift to it, so what we need to do is. Hold on, hold that. Change the yarn on it, it's that one. Hold it down, then which way you want it, left or right. basically on the spot again turn left it's a bit better isn't it? it's not quite as big but it's getting bigger and bigger as more I hold it Try and keep an eye on the van behind me. I haven't bought a parking ticket. I'm only going to be down in a couple of minutes. And that's coming straight in, is it? Near enough, isn't it? Near enough straight. It's better. And then just stop it, pull back. So then, guys, that is the anchor bait boat review for you. Uh, sorry, it's a bit of a long video for what it is. Just want to try and give you as much video footage as i could for you guys um i have emailed uh bait boatman uk i think it was they're getting back to the manufacturer about the sort of the left steering problem but what i'll do when i'll get an update i will do another little video for you guys just so you guys know um you know what what they're going to do about it but like i say please give it a thumbs up subscribe hit the bell notification button for me and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.